Hi, welcome to Cube Conversations. I'm Stu Miniman here at the Wikibon World Headquarters in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Going to have a focus on big data. Joining me for this segment is my colleague Jeff Kelly, our big data lead. Jeff, thanks for joining me. Stu, thanks for having me. So, Jeff, uh, you know we've been going out to all the shows, extracting the signal from the noise, uh, and uh, you know here in here in the fall, uh, you've got the Tableau conference coming up. Can you set the stage for us? You know, I remember when uh, you know started looking at big data. Uh, you know, the whole data visualization was always you know a hot topic, it's something that e even us uh, people that are you know, relatively new to big data could comprehend and consume. So you know, wh why is this an important show? Well, yeah, if you think about what big data is all about, it's about deriving insights from large volumes of data, and how do, you, how do you do that? Well, if you think of the stack, of course, you go down from the infrastructure up to the database, up to some of the application development tools, but ultimately, uh, in many cases, you're going to have a, an end user, a person sitting in front of a screen, trying to make sense of data. And how do you do that? You visualize it in different ways. Um, and depending on the particular insight, you're trying to communicate. You might use any number of different types of visualizations. So uh, really, data visualization is a key component of the whole big data ecosystem and the whole big data uh, approach. So, you know, from the perspective of Tableau, now they came, came about, uh, you know, several years ago in response to some degree um, to the dis to the dissatisfaction users had with some of the more traditional business intelligence tools, which were somewhat clunky, hard to use, not very user friendly. Tableau came along with some relatively user friendly modern data visualization approaches, and the company really just took off. They really struck a nerve. Uh, they've been growing like crazy. That continues today, and now they're really riding that big data wave. Yeah, Jeff, so it's our second year at the show. Uh, they, they have one of my favorite stock tickers. It's just data, D-A-T-A, -A, so they got uh, a good that's a cool one. one. What, what, what's, the, what's the update on the company in the last year? Well, the company's been, like I said, growing like crazy. So, um, you know, they, they went public uh, about a little over a year ago. Um, so we have some actual financial data now to look at. Uh, they are, as I said, growing like crazy. They've added uh, 2,200 new customers in just the last quarter. They have added uh, a number of 1,500 new employees since last year, uh, this time. So, you know, they're growing like crazy. They're investing like crazy. Uh, in terms of their financial results, again, did about $90 million in revenue last quarter. Uh, yet still had a loss because, because of all that growth. They're investing in people, they're investing in engineering talent, sales, et cetera, to really uh, meet demand because they're in, in, in very high demand. Um, and again, as I said, they're kind of riding this big data wave. So um, I've noticed over the last year, they've been establishing and kind of stepping up the pace of their partnerships with a lot of the players who sit kind of below the data visualization layer. Um, in some cases, that's the Hadoop players like Cloudera, the database players, analytic database players, HP Vertica, for example, um, and increasingly cloud players, with Google and AWS. Um, all of which we'll have on theCUBE next week at the show, uh, kind of talking about how they look at data visualization and the role Tableau's playing uh, with their products. Great, so lots of good partnerships, I'm excited to see what they say. H how about the competition? You know, as, anytime you have success, everybody's chomping at, the, uh, mm. at your heels. That's true, so as I mentioned, so Tableau, when they emerged, it was really, they were really seen as kind of a modern um, approach to data visualization in comparison to the more uh, kind of version one of business intelligence, business objects, Cognos, who, while, you know, certainly provided significant value to the enterprise, their adoption rate kind of stalled out around 20% in any given enterprise, and largely because it, they were not really user-friendly tools, um, they didn't scale well, any number of issues. So, so Tableau came along and kind of was that new modern um, option in comparison to those more uh, traditional approaches. Today, now that they've been around for a while, you're actually seeing the third wave, you might say, of data visualization and BI players coming along. So that includes players who focus on the Hadoop ecosystem specifically, players like Datamir and Platfora. Um, you've got uh, more web-based uh, applications around data visualization, like Good Data, like um, a company called Looker. So there's this kind of new wave of data visuals data visualization tools and technologies coming along, and now they're trying to position Tableau as, well, that was kind of you know, a good step forward, but now they're a little bit behind the times. And you know, an example of that is um, Tableau, you, you couldn't run Tableau on a Mac until just about a month ago. They finally uh, included that in their 8.2 release. So um, you know, there's plenty of competition. Um, you know, others include, include Click, uh, which is a company that often gets lumped in with Tableau. Again, a very user-friendly approach to visualization. Um, kind of trying to take IT out of the equation so you as a business user can actually start um, bringing in data and manipulating it without having to go to IT. So plenty of competition there. Um, and then the other thing from my perspective, and this is a challenge not just, just to Tableau, but to all the visualization players, 
who are more horizontal in nature. And this, this applies again to the traditional players as well as the newer players. Um, one of the challenges with BI is that, it, again, it's a horizontal play, uh, not necessarily focused on a vertical or even, even a, a more specific target of a user in a particular vertical market. So um, it struggles when it comes to solving sp very specific problems that a user might have. So if I'm a, a sales guy, I have a specific set of KPIs I want to look at, a specific uh, type of data I want to visualize. A horizontal platform requires some level of customization to do that. Um, so we're starting to see, it's very early, but big data applications come along that are focused on specific uh, business use cases. Um, and so the, again, that'll be one of the things we talk about at Tableau and uh, Tableau Conference on theCUBE and how they're adjusting uh, and adapting to that uh, kind of shift. All right, so what, what are you going to be on the lookout, Jeff? What, what do you recommend, you know, why should they be watching? And you know, fr from your research agenda and all the surveys you've been doing, talking to practitioners, what are you on the lookout for next week? Well, you know, as I said, Tableau's riding the big data wave, and in, in they're in a great position because everybody needs visualization, and Tableau really doesn't care who kind of wins the database war, the Hadoop war underneath. They are going to serve to serve as that data visualization layer regardless of who wins. Um, but one of the things I'm going to be looking at you know, as I mentioned, they're growing like crazy, they're scaling uh, like crazy, adding lots of new customers. And one of the things that Tableau is known for, when you go to these events, the customers are thrilled with Tableau. It's like a revival, they love Tableau. So, you know, you ask users, as I've done, why is that? And, you know, part of it's, of course, the product, they love the product, but also because, and I've heard this again and again, that Tableau is so responsive to their their needs, their requests, you know, the new features they want to see. Uh, the Mac feature I mentioned, you know, people were talking about that for a while and Tableau responded and, and added Mac compatibility. So the question is, can Tableau keep up that level of customer um, support and, you know, hands-on customer service as they scale and as they grow? So that's one thing I'm going to look for. Uh, talk, going to talk to a lot of practitioners, customers, ask them if they've seen any change, how Tableau is making this transition. So that's one thing. Um, and of course, we're just going to have a lot of uh, end users on, and we're going to hear a lot of great stories about how people are using Tableau to visualize data, to tell stories with data uh, in new and innovative ways. So, as I said, visualization kind of lies at the top of the big data stack. Um, it's all about translating those insights into, uh, into actions and, and doing that in a visual way so people know what they've got to do next. What's the next step in any given business process? Data visualization helps you come up with that. Um, so we'll be talking to users, hear what they're doing. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, partners, uh, we're going to have on a, a number of their partners, Cloudera, HP, uh, and then in terms of cloud, it's been just over a year now since uh, Tableau announced and released their cloud offering, Tableau Cloud. So we'll talk about, is that getting any pickup? And we'll talk to their cloud par partners about how the new offering is kind of um, helping their customers do new and innovative things. So those are some of the things I'm looking forward to. It's going to be a great week. All right, Jeff, so uh, br bring us home. You know, wh what else to, can we look forward to uh, you know, from your travels in the Cube in the, in the coming weeks and months? Well, it is a, the start of a busy couple months here at, uh, at the Cube. So we are going to be, in addition to Tableau, we'll be the following week, we're going to be at Inform 2014. Uh, Infor, a really interesting company. Actually, probably one of the biggest enterprise software companies you've never heard of. They do a lot of really interesting things around applications, and including some of those analytic applications I referred to a minute ago that are more focused on use cases. Infor is very focused on specific industry use cases. So that'll be an interesting show. Um, we're going to be at, of course, Oracle Open World. We're going to be at Splunk.conf. And then we've got our own event, Big Data NYC 2014 in New York in mid-October. Mid we're going to be doing two days of theCUBE, talking to people in the Hadoop ecosystem. That means users, practitioners, vendors, VCs, you name it. Um, and then as part of that event, we're actually going to be doing something unique. Uh, we're calling it Wikibon Capital Markets Day, where I'll be presenting uh, findings from our recent Hadoop NoSQL forecast um, to an audience, uh, an in-person audience, as well as to the CUBE audience out there at home. Um, kind of walking through the forecast, um, some trends we're seeing in the market and where we see these things going. And we'll follow that up with a panel of big data CEOs. We're going to have, for example, the CEO of Mark Logic, Gary Bloom on the panel. Uh, Abhi Mehta, CEO of Trusade, is going to join us. Uh, David Richards from Wandisco, um, and potentially more CEOs join us on that panel. And we're going to talk about um, you know, what the market looks like from a vendor perspective in terms of what are the challenges they're facing, um, whether it's scaling, whether it's integrating with partners. Um, and again, all this is going to be broadcast on the Cube as well as a, an in-person audience, which is going to have, a, we've invited a lot of Wall Street types. We've been getting a lot of inquiries from, from uh, Wall Street sell side and buy side analysts um, looking for some, some perspective on the big data market. So that tells you something about 
uh, where this is going and, and possible IPOs in the coming year uh, from a lot of these companies. So it's going to be an interesting week there. Um, and I'm sure there's more that I've forgotten, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, there's Amazon reInvent coming up uh, by the time we hit November and maybe another show or two that'll pop up. But uh, boy, Jeff, uh, busy t uh, time for, you know, I think everyone involved in the CUBE operation. Luckily, most of our viewers don't have to rack up the uh, uh, airplane miles to catch all of the good conversation there. So uh, thanks so much for everything. Of course, uh, be sure to check wikibond.org slash big data for all of the research and siliconangle.tv for all of our past and upcoming events. And thanks for joining us on CUBE Conversation and be sure to check us out at all the events.